Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm ready. Can I draw your attention to uh, Antonio Pizarro, who's going to give a uh, bit of a presentation, and I think you can add to your presentation. Thank you. Um, I came here to talk about construction, but really all I care for is comics. Now, I, I really like comics. I always liked comics. When I was a child, I loved comics. And what I liked about comics is the possibility they gave me to um, dwell into a world of epic quests and incredible adventures. Um, and although homework did limit my possibility to enjoy such activity, um, that need for an epic quest kind of, you know, is still there. Um, and from comics, um, it became my passion for illustration, contemporary art, painting, um, and eventually architecture. And I found myself uh, in a very um, posh design office in Milan, um, drawing toilet blocks for a Dolce Gabbana showroom. And I thought, okay, that's not epic, is it? What was it missing? Th th there was something quite, quite not there. Uh, in, in, although in a Dolce Gabbana toilet blocks are really good. I mean, I would do recommend um, designing them if you can. Um, what was missing was, was, you know, the bigger picture. Why, why are we doing this? You know, why do we design? Why do we build? Why do we maintain our built asset? Um, and eventually, uh, I left Italy um, and I arrived here in the UK and I joined a very good, a very large uh, design practice some, someone here knows about. Um, and immediately, I became extremely passionate about sustainability because that gave me that kind of epic quest or something worth fighting for. Um, and through my passion for sustainability, I started collaborating with Paul Morel for the low carbon industry strategy, um, the 2050 group, TIC, and eventually landed into the construction excellent world, um, NG4C. Um, and last year, I was uh, nominated to my great surprise, um, being an immigrant, uh, co-chair for G4C. Um, so what is it, G4C? Uh, 700 people strong movement um, of boys and girls, guys and ladies, um, involved at the early stages of their career in construction. Um, and we all volunteer our time to make construction a better place to be. And ultimately, to improve what we leave as a legacy to society. Um, and we do that for a very simple reason, which might even sound selfish. And the reason is because we're going to stick around, hopefully, long enough to live the first person, the result of nowadays and today's uh, long-term visions and strategy. So we're going to stick around. So climate change will be our climate. You know, the result of, of today's uh, infrastructure planning will be our infrastructure. So it makes sense. It just simply makes sense for young people uh, in construction to try um, and change it. So uh, as well as a decarbonized grid um, and a new sustainable uh, energy strategy, we want to change the way uh, our industry goes about innovation. You know, whilst we got the car industry, aviation industry, all the way to media, fashion, and art, all those industries out there reach out for the new thing. They want innovation. They want to embrace the new thing. They have realized that the new thing, it will be the engine for a more competitive um, and a better market. We kind of shy away. We're very good at producing innovation. We're not particularly good at embracing innovation in a way that fundamentally changes our business models. You know, as we speak today here, thousands and thousands of new homes are being built in a way not that dissimilar from how a brickie would have done 100 years ago. Nothing wrong with bricks. I love bricks. But there's probably a few, a few more alternatives. Um, as much as the you know, techniques and, and construction methods, we need to change the terms of our engagement with our clients. You know, our industry is engineered nowadays to manage the transaction of a built asset. What about creating value through a long-lasting service-based relationship? Do our clients really care about the cost of our building? They really care about a very good school. They really care uh, about a very good road infrastructure and a safe neighborhood. Can we measure how good those uh, outputs are, the, uh, those outcomes are? So, you know, change is needed in the way we manage data because data is fundamentally the way we're going to be able to measure and prove how good we are. So as part of G4C, um, our big data and open data group, we're leading a couple of um, 
quite interesting um, campaigns on, uh, we say, increasing the level of data literacy in the construction industry. Really, we want to talk about data. We want to talk about you know, what it means to, to uh, have and uh, gather large amount of data and from that um, improve our uh, output. Um, not only we want to get really geeky and understand about big data and open data, uh, but there's also uh, a need for our industry to change our image. Why does he care about image now? Skills, primarily skills. Our workforce is getting older, is it diminishing in number? It is something at government level is being very clearly put by Peter Ansford um, in his report last year. So, you know, why would a child be interested in a muddy business made by white, male, middle-aged people on site? A child in the UK spends 37.5 hours a week between apps, games, and browsing. That's cool, because all my friends do that, and I can see what my friends are doing. Construction is just, just not for me, really. It doesn't do it. But it does. It is an amazing place, and we will be delivering the houses, the schools, and roads that will be needed in the future. So, you know, we need to change the way we tell our story so that new skills can be retained. And we need to focus on a far more diverse uh, workforce. Uh, well, first because it's like ethically right, but also makes sense from a business point of view. Diversity means fresher, newer, and brighter ideas. And you know, we could do something about our um, diversity uh, in, uh, in the industry. Um, so although this might have sounded to you, oh, okay, what's this guy? got here and start rambling about the future. This was actually the G4C 2015 plan. We have a, um, a number of work streams that have been fantastically um, led by our uh, board. Um, I am the co-chair of the national uh, G4C um, board. We have centers, uh, regional groups all around uh, the UK. Um, and there are some few interesting projects that uh, have started to get a little bit of traction. Um, we've developed an app uh, they hopefully we, uh, will improve uh, the, uh, the lower part, the last you know, uh, shabby segment of the construction <coughs> supply, which is the domestic market. We did that as a result of an event we ran last year with Peter Ansford and a few other interesting uh, people on the panel on changing the image. We realized that you know, our image is fundamentally affected, to the detriment of it, um, by the cowboy builders the small domestic market. So if we act on that by improving transparency and delivery, you know, the perception of our industry will start to change. So we developed this app, Peter Ansford has officially endorsed it, and we are now going to um, uh, deploy it and start um, selling it. For students here, there's something quite interesting that we're also doing, which is called Leaders for the Future. This is an online app, um, which actually has been hacked from a dating website, uh, basically what we did, we took an algorithm that matches together different profiles and instead of having two potential partners for life, uh, we have an employer and a student um, and it's working quite well. So what we're trying to do is to improve the quality uh, of work placements across the, uh, um, our industry. Um, so not just that, we're working on diversity, as I said earlier, open and big data, collaborating with the BRE Trust on a number of uh, video interviews on, on the topic on open data. Um, but most than anything, um, we want to collaborate with other organizations, universities, thank you for having us tonight, uh, to share the passion for changing things. Uh, our events are always free. Everything gets recorded and uploaded, um, hopefully the same night or the day, or the day after, uh, for, for everyone uh, to, to use and share. Um, and as we've already started discussing, it might be a good opportunity to organize something here. So if you, if you care about this industry and if you think to um, stick around with us uh, to improve it, um, please do. Thank you.